right, we are back out of the executive session at 444. No action was taken and moving back into our regular agenda items. Uh, we'll move into item 9.1 uh, scorecard staff report under staff. Any um, anything outside of what's in our packet that you want to highlight? We added a slide based on some comments from the last meeting to the numbers, and as I said, record ridership, and it's pretty amazing. Perfect. How's our sales tax holding up? Yeah. It actually cut down for the first time, and so we we're just trying to get rid of the Under staff report. Um, yeah, so this this received the annuaries, and um, we earned one million four hundred ninety seven thousand last year. We earned one million four hundred eighty thousand, so down seven eight thousand dollars. We budgeted one million five hundred twenty nine, so we're seeing that leveling out. Now this is still. 1.5 that we were in last year, 1.5 is still a big bump for what it was two years ago. So it went up and up now, still a little bit. So whether this is the new norm, we don't know. I'm just saying, it drop down to where it was around 3.5, 3.6 per fifth, or maybe 4.5. So it's just a uh, um, uncertain time. Does the board have any questions with respect to the monthly financials? If you don't, then uh, we'll assume that you've read and digested the material and we can move on. Um, any questions about capital projects? And uh, HR report, do we have anything, any nuances that we need to highlight? Have a very exciting program for recruiting based on the new contract that Tammy's working on. We had very positive feedback. We can, if you'd like me to touch on that, I can. Yeah, sure, please. So, we, um, Julie and I, Tammy, met um, over the last couple of weeks, and um, we've actually moved Cammy into a HR recruitment position where she is going to be responsible for coach operator only recruitment. Um, she's taking on um, kind of beefing up our social media um, presence, working with our trainers to put some fun videos together that we'll be using on social media. We'll be using at the testing um, component of coach operators, uh, putting in some new ads. Um, um, what else are we doing, Julie? Um, we've got, we're going to be putting a wrap on a couple buses uh, that say we're hiring drivers. Um, and, having some more static uh, displays of buses in certain areas. And I think we're going to take advantage of the, you know, softball, whatever seasons that are happening out in the um, parks and getting some presence out there. And then Paulo is our new, out, um, took uh, Selena's place as our outreach specialist. And we're going to be, um, I talked to uh, Christina today, and she's given us the okay to work with him to get out and do some in-person recruitment and some some spots that we have not hit yet. Um, he's got a background with the Community Action Council, and he's got some different resources that we've not um, tapped into. So we're really excited about getting that going as well. So, so then highlighting the, the package that the board just approved, being able to change that. I mean, it, because I think there's, you know, we've, we've really had that message out in the community, and we really need to highlight that it's a different message. Yeah, and, yeah. So we're, we're just really excited. Um, we're working with Jamie Howell from Howl at the Moon to, to uh, make some videos that we'll be putting in at the theaters. Um, we'll hire in. We've got um, some stories about, you know, where are they now? Kind of drivers that started as coach operators that are now like Sam, you know, working in procurement or Gabby, who is a um, driver and now she's our operations manager. So highlighting that it's a career path as well. Um, and can I tell them what Candy's idea was for it's not your dad's job? <laughs> so we have a we have to talk to Paul about this because we want to be able to use some of the drivers that have specific experiences, but they may not be high in the seniority list. But we'd like to make a video 
that it's not your dad's job anymore because we have a, a father and daughter that are working as drivers and we'd like to use her as you know bus driving is not your dad's job anymore like it used to be but it's my dad's job because her dad is a coach operator too so just trying to lighten things up and uh, freshen things up I think we'll hopefully have some good experience with that. Any comments questions? Thank you, Thank you. to Richard um, for showing up for our council meeting. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I it's good practice, and I you know realized when I had hadn't started again after COVID, it's like no need to do this. I know the community's appreciated it. We appreciated it in Waterville. Who was there last night? Yeah, you got we found out one of our hot buttons. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have hot buttons. Uh, yeah, any questions? Uh, <laughs> I would just like to say, you know, this new slide you added on the storage cards, morning bar out. I like that. That's pretty interesting to look at. Um, I know you can't put it on this page, but if there was some, maybe one more page that identified what those routes actually are. Oh, okay. Sure. Most of us don't have it memorized by number, or at least I don't. I only know why it was 25. Yeah. <laughs> I know 22 is going to. Just just land, I believe. So it's 21. 22 goes to uh, the bug level. The bug level. Yeah, that's why I need them. Yeah. 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 All of you can reserve uh, uh, these dates in your calendar. Um, I'll go back through those and we'll obviously get those out to you so that you have that. But potentially, we're looking at May 8th uh, for a work session with the subcommittee, um, May 11th for a meet and greet, May 12th would be interviews um, of four to five with the subcommittee. And then with uh, all culminating into an executive session on May 16th. So, like I said, we'll get those specific dates and times out to you so you have those. Um, but hopefully, you can reserve that. Um, Gary did tell me uh, when I spoke to him just a few minutes ago that the work session on the 8th will probably only take about an hour. And I know that's a Monday, so I know Mondays are rough. So I will try to reach out and find out, is there a time that might work for everybody? Maybe a little later, a little earlier. So. Yeah, afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. All right, great, thanks. So I just wanted to um, take just a moment to thank each of you for the discussion today. Um, I, you know, I, I, I Thank you for indulging in that extra discussion. I want to be clear, at least from my perspective, that um, as I shared in my comments, this is not about anything other than for me, just an uncomfortableness and um, not being able to deliver on what we promised. Now, I, like uh, Council Member Tid said, we don't want to give up, on that, and I don't want to give up. I don't think there's any of us that want to give up. Uh, so we've had the discussion, a spirited discussion. We move, we're moving forward uh, with the board uh, in accord with uh, the outcome of that. And I think it is incumbent upon all of us as board members to do our level best. And I spoke about a change agent that falls largely on our shoulders to be part of that change agent to support the staff. And so I um, am looking forward. I think that some creative ways to um, outreach to uh, uh, solving our operator deficiency is, is uh, something that's job one. And I think that it sounds like there's some good ideas. But um, so I just, I, I, I want to be clear that there should be, if we take anything from the discussion we had today, it's just that each one of these board members cares about honoring our commitment to, as I know you do, uh, the staff and uh, honoring the commitment we make with our voters, our, our citizens. So it's not meant to be anything other than that. So with that, uh, if there's no further business, I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Six of us take long.
Well, yeah, maybe Google the number. I Yes, 